Hey, Vox here. So there's a lot of issues in online Madden gameplay. This we know. If you play the game at any distance, you've seen a lot of or some of maybe the most overpowered stuff in the game. And we're going to go over that. Um, uh, there's been some videos. Like, I know a lot of people just do the videos on their own, but I, I try to give credit to where the glitches are found. I know sometimes it's murky who finds what first. Sometimes people find something at the same time. But Astro's where I saw it on Twitter. So we're going to look through it and like I kind of want to have a discussion around like this exposure and a uh, competitive man that kind of stuff but let's go ahead and watch how a lot of this is done first before we um uh talk a little bit more about the uh, uh the content itself okay so here we go you want to um put a pa jet sweep a single back pa jet sweep in your audibles um and you want to come out in a gun formation for me i'll just come out and bunch here and what you want to do is you want to audible to that pa jet sweep and hot route the guy in the blue route so you see the blue route where he's going to motion in this case it's x so you want to you want to do it before uh, it goes away because after some point you actually just can't. I snap I snap the ball, and yeah my quarterback's glitched. He's all messed up. So so if you just spread your line and your linebackers and stuff like it would probably never work. So that one is an easy five yards just by uh, doing that little glitch by audibling from a jet sweep to a a, a regular play. Uh, oh, sorry, putting it, put, regular play to a jet sweep and audibling him up and your quarterback goes crazy. I've seen a similar thing with jet sweeps and audibling it and the wide receiver takes off. Um, so it's an issue with the jet sweep, the motion, the, the, the cheap motion type stuff ahead of time. Um, so that glitch hopefully will get solved soon. Um, you can QB power from any form just by, here we go. Pretty much going to do is just make one hot route. So... You want to make a hot route and then very quickly audible to your single back formation. So you make a hot route, audible, right? We're supposed to be in single back right now, but obviously our quarterback is still in the gun stance. And so when we snap the ball, that just happened. <laughs> now, That's a good one. Are allowed in the MCS from what I know. Um, and obviously you can do them in online. This play. is the rollout. Basically like... Just, just holding, just holding right trigger in this tackle over formation. You can get out the pocket really quick. I'm just gonna double team the end and just sprint straight to the right. Yes, yeah, so you get like, uh, you get like a speed burst like we used to get with like escape artist or five wide draw that kind of stuff. So those are some of the issues. Route stemming, we know, is a major problem in the game, and it's so funny. I see so many comp guys on Twitter and stuff still com like complain about if you're still route stemming now, you know, after college football, put in a patch to stop the route stem glitch, which I'd assume Madden's going to have that patch out here hopefully in a few days with the season turnovers, usually when they put out patches, like Thursday or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, uh, hopefully that gets patched and stuff, but... Some of these things are brutal. It might not make it maybe an emergency patch, but it might not make it until our next monthly patch, October. So we could go, say, play with that offsides glitch for a while. Um, it might be a good idea to go ahead and pack up the team till October, but you probably won't run into a lot of glitches like that. You will run into a few games that they'll piss you off, but like it brings about my like big philosophy around head to head. Which is like, you know, I know EA is focusing a lot of their, their game around the competitive aspect of it. Champions, into the gauntlet, that kind of stuff. Because like, you know, to be competitive, you're going to have to have the best squad. Like if you don't have the best squad, you're at a competitive disadvantage in mutt. That's the whole point. That's why they're pushing the game towards competitive. That's why they're advertising competitive. To get people to buy their game, move it, and then put spend money on mutt. Like, right? Uh, EA loses a ton of money on their competitive scene. But they basically, like, imagine they're going to make it up because people are buying packs to help out their competitive team for like the 50 people that play Comp Madden. Which, you know, it, it's it's their math, it's their company, they could do whatever they want. Uh, but this is the most proud I've ever been of competitive Madden. Putting these glitches out here to expose how bad the game is, to try and get the developers to fix. Like, I, like, I, got, a, I got into, like, I wouldn't say an argument, but a discussion with another, like, a tip person on Twitter, uh, or X, whatever you want to call it now, um, uh, like, last week, where he said, oh, I found the double A gap last year, right? I, I found it. And I was like, well, why didn't you put it out, you coward? And he was like, oh, you wouldn't want me to put out all the things I find. I, well, you should have them focus on the game at hand that's good. Now, it's like, we're going to eventually find this. It's going to eventually rear its head in this, this ugly game. So the comp guys that are putting out glitches are the best comp guys in the entire scene. That will, Those are the ones I salute. I know a lot of people would disagree with this deck. But putting out the glitches to show the product how bad it is and to get EA putting the pedal to metal, actually doing their job of fixing these things. Because what else do they do? What else do they do, 
right? They, they, if they're not fixing the glitches, they're out here putting dumb hit stick things in the game where they didn't need to change the hit stick problems in the game. There was no problem year over year. The only problem with last year's hit stick was the fact that you never fumbled. That's the only problem last year's up the fumble chance and your hit sticks were fine last year. So give them a job, like, cause that is so important to find glitches and to fix them in the game. Whether the routes then, whether the, the, the offsides call, and I'm sure there's a hundred other things in the game that maybe haven't been found or haven't been seen. And like, yeah, sure, we all worry about patches because like, whenever EA puts out something in a patch, they screw something up. Like right now on college football, in the last patch, apparently some running backs having a, a big trouble uh, being able to be audible after a play action, basically making those plays terrible. So yes, we still have that issue in the game itself. Where like we're worried, you know, what they do when they rush patches and whatnot. But overall, um, talk about glitches. Uh, hey, become a member on the YouTube channel. Uh, become a, a Twitch sub for the Discord coin making methods. Those are really glitchy. I'll just tell you that right now. But like, what do you guys think? What do you think about this whole discussion? Because overall, like the game is only going to get better when we expose it for how poor of a product it truly is. Because EA cannot change something they don't know about, and we know EA doesn't play this game. That is a fact. There is very few people at that company that actually play. The Mutt team doesn't touch Mutt. They just get their cards granted them. You see this, like, like they go to the bars and like they're trying to pick up dudes at the bar and they're like, oh yeah, I can grant you a card on your team. We literally saw it happen earlier this year. I did a video on it, okay? So, I for one am pro. I'm sure a lot of people are against them exploding the gameplay glitches and flaws because uh, the, the online streets gonna be better. But like playing this game and only playing the games that are fun it's a video game. It should be fun. Madden's not a competitive product. We're holding an L in our last game. We're super angry. Check out my, my stream for that one. That was, that one hurt. Sometimes things don't go well for you, but that's Madden. But like seeing things go bad for you with them with glitches, oh, that's like that's not even rage inducing. That's like, oh wow, I'm disappointed that I put so much time into this product. Kind of inducing. Uh, but that's it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Again, let me know what you guys think about people exposing the glitches in the game and what your uh, thoughts on them overall. Bye.